Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to give you guys a quick rundown of what kind of image format you should be exporting to when you're done with your project inside of GIMP. So the three formats I'm going to be talking about today are probably the most popular ones. They're PNG, a portable network graphic, a JPEG, and a GIF file. So these are three different image formats that can be used for different purposes. Um, so kind of the most universal one is a PNG, otherwise known as Portable Network Graphic. And the idea behind a PNG is that generally it's going to take up more file space, but it contains extra data for transparency. So in this image, I have uh, a transparent background. We know that because we can see the checkered um, stuff that appears in the background when we do not have a solid colored background. And the reason we would want to export as a PNG is that when we export as PNG, it maintains that data. So we can take this transparent image and the only part that would actually show up if we put something else, I mean, if we put this as the front image to something else, the only thing that will show up is this black line here. So we would go to file export and then make sure it's exporting as a PNG image. Of, of course, once again, the downside there is that it takes up more file space. Now, when you don't need transparency because you have a solid colored image, um, generally a photograph or anything that just has a background color that's 100% not transparent, um, then you can use JPEG. And JPEG files are going to reduce the file size. Uh, when you need images but you don't want them to take up a lot of file size, it's a good option for you. So if you ever wanted to do that in GIMP, you would just export, but you would change it from PNG to JPG or JPEG. Now, uh, GIF is similar to a JPEG. I do not believe that GIFs can have alpha transparency in the background, but what a GIF can do and uh, that a JPEG can't do is basically become a sequence of images as a animation. So. Um, one thing you'll see on the internet, if you haven't already, is animated GIF files. This is where basically there's two, three, five, something like that images in a sequence. And the GIF animation will play just by quickly going between them. Um, so when you export as a GIF file, you have the option of taking multiple layers in GIMP and having them export as completely separate images. Um, but mounted together in one animation file. So if we ever wanted to do that, we could do file export Make sure it is a GIMP. I mean a GIF file And then you would choose as animation uh, You can choose whether you want it to loop and you can specify how long it takes between uh, before you go between layers You do all that you export it and you're going to get an animated GIF file that you can watch or that you can post online to various social media sites. Um, so yeah, that's the three main formats that I would use. There's other ones that exist out there by BM, like BMP, uh, but really for 99% of purposes, these three PNG, uh, PNG sorry, JPEG and uh, .gif files are going to be all you need for most image content. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching this video and I guess I will see you guys in my future video content.